binary arithmetic is practical for most computers. Throughout the history of computing, one thread has terrified all operating systems. A faceless enemy with 1,000 hands. Adam, what are you watching? It's just getting interesting. Get ready for the most terrifying monster of all time. This is dangerous, Doc. You should take this subject seriously. Entity, turn the TV off. CIO, this has to be my priority. We can't leave it in the hands of a documentary as trashy as this. I could not agree more. Do you want me to tell you a real story about cybersecurity? Specifically, something that happened to your company? Entity, are you trying to scare me? This is not a game. Well, Adam, cyber attacks are something to fear. Look, cybersecurity is everywhere. This digital focus area is necessary for all the others. A company cannot exist today without the right cybersecurity systems. Yeah, that's interesting. Meet Helen Anderson, a PA staff member at Asimov Corporation. Helen's career could not have been more brilliant. Nobody suspected that Helen was going to take the company to the very brink of collapse. Why? What happened? She opened an email. Oh, she did it. The email contained malware. That's how they get you. A cyber threat organization transformed Asimov into a ghost company. Using the company's credentials and data, they transferred millions from the company's bank accounts and sold its customers' sensitive data to the highest bidder just takes one email. That is the key lesson to be learned. No matter how sophisticated the cybersecurity guidelines of a company are, there will always be one vulnerability, human behavior. Yeah, I know. An email, a call, a message to a mobile. The most innocent of behaviors can lead to a risk. Now, Asimov Corporation have deployed security countermeasures, specific places where security barriers are low, and we can sequester and inoculate bad actors, security threats and poor practices that make our IT estate vulnerable. Biometric two-phase authentication was implemented to support our employees. Today, we can predict the risks before they happen. And if we can predict the risks? Yes, we can protect our future. And today, tomorrow, I'm going to open an internal PMO where I can coordinate all the company's cybersecurity incidents. That's a fantastic idea. The cybersecurity is a huge issue for businesses. We've seen a lot of scenarios where businesses have lost tens or hundreds of millions of dollars from attacks. We've seen C-level executives lose their jobs over breaches. There's a lot of technologies coming out like artificial intelligence or machine learning, uh, different encryption technologies, uh, things like blockchain and homomorphic encryption. And these are a bit of a double-edged sword. We will need to move towards a world where the Security Operations Center is based mostly on machines that fight the machines on the other side with humans helping the machine. Is this dangerous stuff? You should take this subject seriously. As you can see in the wake up to CDS, uh, blockchain is connected with cybersecurity. It provides a new way to protect citizens, consumers, enterprise, uh, focus on digital identity, how to provide the citizens, the consumers, a self-sovereign identity in order to be compliant with GDPR and the ADAS reglament and all these challenges uh, related to cybersecurity. This is not a game. Well, Adam, cyber attacks are something to fear. You can look to things like machine learning and artificial intelligence that these are going to bring whole new classes of vulnerabilities into existence that we haven't had to deal with yet. We've seen a few attacks, large-scale attacks against IOTs, 
And there is a big question, I think, how you're going to secure the IoTs. The first thing is collecting a lot of data from IoTs, analyzing the data in a central location, finding attacks, and then responding to them as quickly as possible. And the second one is securing those devices at the point where the devices connect to the internet, usually at the service provider level. Today, we can predict the risks before they happen. So bringing that together, it gives us a whole security program that the organization can use to stay on top of the latest threats, the latest vulnerabilities, figure out what the attackers are doing today, and adjust their security posture to compensate for tomorrow's threats.